Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I finally got round to filming my updated hair care routine using the L'Oreal Steam Pod which you guys will know I have been banging on about for the last six months. This tool has changed how I do my hair and enabled me to do these really sort of tousled, effortless waves. So let's get into it. I kick things off by filling my Steam Pod little poddy thing with water ready to style my hair with. This is my hair au natural just out the shower, so I apply some heat defense through the ends of my hair because it can get quite dry so it needs to be kept in good condition. And then I brush that all the way through the ends of my hair using my tangle teaser. To dry my hair I use the GHD Aura hair dryer which you will know from my favourites I am absolutely loving at the moment. To start the styling process, I part my hair and just tie one of them in a little pigtail on one side and then I work on the alternative side and I tend to start from the bottom up. This is so that I can stagger where the waves start and finish because I've got quite thick hair. If they all start quite high up in my hair, it's very full and very uh, voluminous which is a bit too much for me. So for the bottom layers of my hair, I keep the waves quite close to the tips of the hair and as I work my way up the layers closer to the top layers of my hair, I let the waves get closer and closer to the roots. This just means that it's not too full and it just looks really, really natural. Obviously, if you've got quite thin hair, you can do the exact opposite and it will definitely add more volume to your waves and give you a much fuller look. As you can see, I am straightening my hair before I'm doing the waves. This just gives my hair a bit of a glossier finish because I've got quite frizzy and unruly hair. I like to really smooth it down and make sure that the waves are smooth and glossy. Obviously, this makes the process a little bit longer. Um, well, it used to anyway. Using my other straighteners, it would double the time that it took. But the Steam Pod actually claims to cut your styling time in half. So whereas it would take me a certain amount of time to straighten my hair using other straighteners, it now would take the same amount of time to straighten and wave my hair using the steam pod. So it is a long process and I do have to get up a little bit earlier in the mornings when I'm washing my hair, but it is worth it and it does give you a really beautiful glossy finish. As I reach the top layers of my hair, I try to make these really frame my face properly and I try to get them as symmetrical as possible on both sides of my face, but that is quite difficult. My little fringy bits are my favourite bit to style because they really finish off the look perfectly. You only get about one sort of wave to them, but they look really sort of tousled and natural. Now onto the other side of my hair, and I pretty much just repeat the process, but in the other direction. So I sort of have to adjust my arms to suit the way that I want the waves to sit. And I don't know whether you've noticed, but I do suffer with a bad case of resting bitch face when I'm doing my hair. I'm trying my hardest to fight it, but I just get caught up in the concentration. <laughs> As you can see, I'm bringing the waves higher and higher up on my hair and looking to create the exact same waves but in the opposite direction. And just when I'm about to give up, we're on to the final layers of my hair. I'm ready to start finishing the style with some product. I start by using the L'Oreal Wet Domination for gloss and hold. 
and then I use the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Powder for volume and the Kerastase Photo Filter for protection. And that's the finished look. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!